Okay, I wanted to buy a new camera for my YouTube videos and Patreon account. And I thought I did a lot of research online. I'm really pleased with the camera, but uh, there's an app that comes with it that goes on my phone. Uh, I have a rel relatively new um, Samsung Edge and it does everything near field communication um, it's you know uh, apps that I can run my Bluetooth and everything it's just you know it does everything and then some stuff that I probably don't even know about but this is the Canon Vixia V-I-X-I-A H-F-R-80 HD the picture is fantastic the lenses are great. The audio uh, with the shipped package of everything that was included. Uh, the little boom mic with a pop filter on it. Very nice. Good sound. Gives it a nice, deep, rich, clear and understood sound. Very happy with that. The only problem is, is that the wireless app it allows me to turn it on and off to zoom in and zoom out doesn't work so it makes this camera half useless to me uh, I don't like manually playing with the wide angle and telephoto because it just vibrates the camera picture and when I go to pause or shut something off and I push it it, it shakes the camera and with the wireless uh, like I've got on my GoPro it's there's there's nothing to touch on the camera it's just video snapshot on off on off so I'm really kind of disappointed with this and only because of the app so along with it came this stand which was damaged in shipping and I'm not going to tell you who I got it from you know they they want me to pay for the the day after I got it I contacted them and I showed them I sent them I think six pictures of, of the damage here to this and they want me to ship it back to them out of my pocket and I went through Amazon uh, to this place I believe it's in New York I uh, went through Amazon got a whole package kind of a deal lenses and filters and all kinds of other knickknacks that I may or may not even need uh, but they wanted me to pay to have it shipped back even after showing them all the pictures using my business card you know computer repair plug-and-play uh, and they just you know I and I said no I I said just send me you know a new one or send me an RMA you know they wouldn't do that they said no you you do this you pay for us to have it shipped back and we'll send you another one and I'm like you know what forget it so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna repair it uh, to the best of my ability uh, problem is you know there's a tab here and a tab here this tabs holding on this tab is not what I'm going to go ahead and do is try and just drill a hole, small hole through this and secure it with a small bolt, nut, washer and just pray that it holds up, which, you know, it will. If you're real careful with it, it should last just fine. So that's my little project. That's what I'm going to do and this will go quickly. It's a very simple repair, or should be. 764s. And the bit that I'm going to use also it will be 764s. I have no idea where to get these. It's plastic and it's pulled me out of a lot of holes. No pun intended. First, 
is there are little nubs on this that maybe you can see. I'm going to go ahead and nip off this one here. So I got something to drill out of. And that came off pretty flush. Um, I wish I could drill from this way because I know what dead center is there. But I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and figure that if I'm in uh, that much? Is that too much? No, it is not. All right. Drill bit. This is going to be freehand. Because I don't have a reason to buy a drill press. So, wish me luck. Start off slow. See what we got. Mm hmm. Okay. Hopefully I drilled it. Yeah, there. see there's that dang dent. They must have dropped it from a second story. Yeah, that'll be alright. Uh, I need to get in. It'd be nice to get in from this way. But then I wouldn't have any way to... Although, you know, to tell you the truth, this piece here is almost useless. So, uh, call me crazy. Or call me Ishmael. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to throw it away. Seems about right. What do you think the right... Well, let's go through this way because it looks, I guess, cleaner that way. That's about it. Little guy here. Little guy there. Look at that. And split washer. We all know what a split washer is, don't we? I didn't up until a year ago. Split washer puts pressure on the bolt. Keeps it from helps it to keep it from loosening up. Now, if I can't get in here with my Dremel, I may have to turn this around. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn it around because I need to get in there with my Dremel. Or do I really? No. You know what? I really don't. I was going to take my Dremel and cut off the excess of the bolt hanging out. I don't think I have to do that. I do need a screwdriver. That's what she said. And you know what? Doggone it. It is what it is. And I don't have to ship it back at my expense. And that is how to repair a tripod stand depending on the damage. And this does come out. 
I had it out on a mic boom and uh, it just got to be too much in the way so what I'd like to do is I have a shelf up here where I'm using this GoPro and I'd like to use this really nice camera but I guess I can edit out the bumps because uh, it takes such a fine picture okay <clears throat> and what I want to do is maybe use it in the future for a actual tripod but I want to put my camera and lay it on the shelf like that and then maybe take some painters tape or duct tape or something that's going to stay there and tape it down or even maybe bolt it down or glue it down or spit on it I don't know anything to hold it down from coming loose and falling in my head and then with it like that I can put the camera like so and point it down face it this way or face it this way well face it this way but if I flip the image on the camera then I can then I can face it this way so you know it can read all my stuff and give me a real-time look because I got a monitor on uh, off to the side for this camera so done and done uh, that's not too tight every once in a while I'm sure I'll have to take a look at it but if I lay it on the shelf ahead or up above probably won't be a problem for many moons thank you short video quick fix another freebie enjoy text me uh, something that you'd like to fix or you don't know how to fix or maybe just get a, an idea uh, please subscribe it's free and uh, I plan on making a lot more videos I've got like uh, 25 right now in the queue uh, I'd say about a dozen a dozen of them uh, are gonna have to be paid subscription uh, because I've spent several hundred dollars on um, on some of these DIYs literally seven hundred dollars um, and at some point I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about on one of these DIYs that are absolutely amazing absolutely amazing thank you and till next time